Hello, this is the TG Bailey, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Today, I'm going to be showing off some of the summons, or some of the new summons in the game. Well, all of the new ones in battle mode here. That'll make it a little easier for me to show them all off. And yeah, this is a way you could actually use your clear data. Although you wouldn't be able to go back into the game after this, but okay. Like if you wanted to change your setup for, I guess, fighting linked battles against uh, other players or something, like you'd have to link the two Game Boy Advances together. Something or other. Oh. No, I suppose not. I prefer to use my head. Oh, thanks, Mysterious Stranger. So, I'm guessing this means you can only use, like, your... What is it? Your main four characters, even if you have access to all eight. The first game has something like this, too. The Battle Arena, by the way, where you can... I just... guess just fight random monsters, or... Fight other players or something. Oh. Yeah, never. Well, maybe not. Never, but I rarely worry about losing a job class or something like that in that situation. But I will be using the summons this time around. Hmm. Okay, this guy doesn't say anything from the side. Can I mind read the guy to get him to say something? Hmm? Oh, maybe I gotta get close now? Hmm. Okay, seems kind of pointless to do it that way, but all right. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I don't really talk that much, evidently. Oh, are you like in the reserves or something? I guess once I beat the game, they rearranged the party or something. Oh, soon enough, Shiva. Soon enough. We'll, we'll get there. Do it! I like how they just have a, a few random NPCs here. Nothing really relevant to what we can do here and stuff. Can I get anything in these barrels? I don't think there are any items. I'm not going to check every single one around here. Not that it would really matter, but okay. Oh. I don't know what that means. I've, like, done almost nothing with the battle arena in my playthroughs because they really have much relevance there, but now let me uh, rearrange my party a bit. There we are. I've already created a save state in advance where I've gotten my party all set with nine of each element gym in my main party so that I can show off some of the summons. I thought I heard like you could fight Dolahan here even. That would be really bad, but all right, let's start with the small summons and work our way up then. Speaking of Dolahan, one of the things I thought about doing was maybe doing a summon rush video against him. No, I'm not doing that. But, uh, I thought about it, like, maybe that could be an interesting way to show off some of the summons, but then I realized that he would annihilate me without getting a lot more levels to have the agility to do so. So, yeah, kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm not interested in that. But, alright. Oh, an attack boost. Yeah, that could be interesting. And you get... Uh, the element boost that you would have gotten same thing as the first game. Except it mixes it up because you're using different elements of gin at one time there. Let's see, what was that last one? Mola. Where are you on my list? Ah, there you are. Okay, yeah, they... Reduce agility and stuff, but... Alright! 
But let's see. I guess my gin don't have to go on recovery like they normally would with summons. By the way, if you want to see the summons from the first game, I did a bonus episode back there of all the basic gin that only used one element for each summon and all that. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that again here, but I would like to show off the new ones, at least. And I've arranged my party like this, so I have my fastest party member on the left and my slowest one on the right, so I don't forget to show off certain summons. Let's see, I think Ulysses... I think it does something like the Ground and Petra Djinn, except for multiple enemies, I guess. Prevents them from taking their actions or something or other like that. It's kind of hard to tell from what I got. I don't want to know what that is. No. I can't even tell what that thing is, but okay. Kezakotl? Or I don't know how you pronounce that guy's name. No, that's another game of yours. Let's see, I think that, uh, whatever that summon was before, uh, gives you, like, a HP regen effect there. Nothing that I'm extraordinarily concerned about, but it's there. Well, at least we're dealing good damage. Let's see, Eclipse. Yeah, that can reduce the attack power of enemies. That might have made debuffs more useful if I didn't already kill them, but it was there. But alright. Let's see. What was that one that we just did there? Horries, or whatever it was. Yeah, that can inflict venom, but I'm not really worried about it. I don't know why I would care to use that against enemies. But alright, well, at least we're getting tougher monsters. I'm guessing the battle arena, if you're gonna fight monsters, I guess it's based on your level, or maybe what enemies or battles you fought, or something. I don't know. I really have no idea how this works. How it generates whatever monsters you got. But, let's see, I don't think I can use any other summons with the amount of gin that I have left available here. I'd make a Hexus Force reference with Azul, but I can't think of one at the moment. Let's see, I think this one can stun enemies. Not that I would really need to take advantage of it, but it's there. Yeah, of course we've got robot firing missiles. Well, if you like that, you'll like my next main LP. Soon enough. Soon enough. Hmm. See, according to my source, it says at the end of the next turn, missile is used. If you summon Daedalus or something. Yeah, I don't really know much about that. Now that would do the trick. Oh, I like that little dragon effect they got there. <laughs> yeah, look at that damage. Not bad. Let's see. Yeah, Catastrophe, that can reduce the target's synergy points by 10% of mass, which it would be pretty useless. So, yeah, I wouldn't bother with it, but we got the two ultimate summons left that we got. Where was that? Anemos Inner Sanctum. Well, at least we got tough enough enemies that might be able to survive it. You know, I'll show off Ch Charon or Karen, however you want to pronounce it. Again, even though we saw that during the... What was that? The Dullahan fight there. But same difference. It can inflict instant death on targets. Otherwise, it just deals damage. Yeah, how do you like it? 
keep having to deal with this over and over and over again. Holy cow! And... Probably the most overpowered and useless summon. Because if you can actually get it, well, you probably don't need it anymore. Unless you're using, like, a retreat glitch or something in a Nemo's Inner Sanctum. I thought I heard there was a way you could get the summon without actually fighting Dullahan or some glitch or whatever it is. I don't know. But mega damage! Oh, right! Oh, we're not done yet? Ah, okay. I think that would also end up reviving party members, too, if they were dead. Although, you don't have any gin left, so... Yeah, I don't know how practical that is. But alright, that's all the new summons in Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna miss these two games, even as much grief as I give the plot. Well, it's been around my life for several months now, and... Well, there's only one other game left. I'm probably not going to play it in the very near future, but well, maybe eventually. I'm definitely not going to promise anything. I mean, even if I did decide to play the game for fun, I don't know if I'd want to LP the game. It would depend if I enjoyed it or not, but I hope you've enjoyed my LPs of the two games nonetheless. Probably take a little bit of time off, and then I'll start my next main LP. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day, and see you next Let's Play!